Hey, welcome to my Osmumpton's Fang. It's only 13 million gold in old school RuneScape. Here's a ton of people uh, getting ready with their lava capes. One second. All right, so here is the showcase for Osmumpton's Fang. Obviously, you just need Piety from the Camelot Quest series. And I have the Salve Amulet from Haunted Mind to do extra damage. So with the Light Bear Ring, my special attack recharges a little bit faster. It makes your next hit like way more accurate. You don't need to use another special attack right away and being that it increases your your special attack it's basically up 15 percent when you use it uh so obviously the revenant cave you get drops from 30 to 16 million 30,000 to 16 million in 10 seconds i'll show the osmumpton's fang versus the revenant knight who's the weakest against that in the revenant cave uh osmumpton's fang is the best stab weapon here i am standing next to the bandos general pets in old school runescape hey welcome to my osmumpton's fang video so i found that osmumpton's fang is a really good weapon to train attack because of its accuracy um it primarily works with stab when you use stab and lunge i use it just on the revenant knights in the revenant cave so let me skip over there now so here are my current stats and here is my current play time so here is my loadout so i use the salve amulet from haunted mind quest Combat Bracelet to increase my attack, Light Bearer, Osmumpton's Fang, and a Dragon Chain Body. So I like to bring Stamina Potions with me and Divine Super Combat. So let's head into the cave. Dudes already spawned. These dudes spawn so fast, which is why it's so good. Because like I was fighting demons before, they take so long to spawn, but they're weak to slash. And the Revenant Dark Beasts, I mean, I think they're weak to slash. The Revenant Dragons are weak to uh, crush. So like the Bandos God Sword. Um, or the dual Machio Hedal are the best versus them. I don't know. I did like seven nights yesterday in one go through. Plus, the longer you take to sell stuff, the more your special attack recharges with how good the Light Bearer Ring is. And you don't have to risk a lot either. Like, you don't have to put your Revenant Bracelet, Bracelet of Ethereum on because the enemy's already down. So, that's obviously how good this item is. Obviously. So I'm also using the Salve Amulet and the Combat Bracelet. So the Salve Amulet, you get that from the Haunted Mind quest. Uh, you have to do Shades of Morton for this and Priest in Peril, which take a little bit of time because you need like Herblore level 50 to do Haunted Mind. So uh, setting that up early on is very useful because uh, the Salve Amulets, you get those uh, from the quest uh, Haunted Mind. And it essentially allows you to do more damage to ghosts or zombies so i've been using a ton of them you just add a ball of wool to the south shard to create them apparently there's a way to increase your ranged uh, but you need to go into like the nightmare zone which i've never done so yeah this is my third night in this run Osmumpton's Fang obviously has 105 attack uh, stab on the OSRS wiki and the slash is like 70. Um, the Void Waker obviously is slightly higher than that. Uh, so it's better versus the Revenant Dogs or Revenant Hellhounds and the Revenant Demons. The Void Waker is. Obviously I'm keeping the Void Waker because it does 50 to 150% of uh, your magic level my magic level went up to 89 just by doing special attacks and that's my only real method of training magic <laughs> i'm trying to to get to level 94 which is not going to happen so i could use uh, ice barrage which attacks multiple enemies from the ancient magics um but you need to essentially do desert treasure one which requires a dig site quest um, and uh, this like waterfall quest which has like zero requirements and another simple quest it's it, the quests aren't really that difficult but you do have to do desert treasures one I'm not sure how difficult that is the waterfall quest sounds kind of cool 
because RuneScape 3 has a waterfall lava quest with Saren in it. So you get some more lore while doing that. Osmumpton's Fang has fallen about more than 50 to 75% in the past uh, few months. So now's the best time to pick up the sword. And obviously, again, it's the best versus the Revenant Knights. So thank you for watching my video.